This program is brought to you by Emory University. This Tibetan performance known as Achilhamo used to be one of the main form of entertainment in Tibet uh, before 1959 and this mainly takes place in Lhasa, the capital of Tibet. There's an annual festival in summer called Shirtun or yogurt festival and that's when most of the monks are about to go to a retreat and the performers come from different parts of the community and they perform to the Dalai Lama and to the Tibetan community. The performance comes with the mass characters and really beautiful costumes and dancing and a little bit of comedies and a lot of singing. As part of Tibetan opera, there is a role, a very significant role, which is the narrator. And that is usually done in a very ancient Tibetan form. And we've decided to help people understand what's going on, because the opera will be in Tibetan, that the narration will be in English. And to the best of my knowledge, this has never been done. In the West, we have seen or heard about the monastic culture, Buddhist monks and uh, their ideas and their you know, prayers. But this is a performance of the lay people that still talks about Buddhist ideas and virtual actions and appreciation of art and music. We will have uh, 11 guest uh, performers visiting who will join me here uh, for this performance. All of them were also trained in India at the Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts. And many of them were performers with Te Chung La, who was also trained in the same place for 17 years. Here at Emory University, students have been learning just basic movements and singing and dancing. I have been sort of preparing them to do a small presentation during this performance. I'm really looking forward to performing and seeing it all come together. I think that what's been most interesting about the class is learning about the culture while we are dancing. There's a graceful nature about it that um, I really appreciate and enjoy and it's teaching me to like um, become not only in tune with my own body, but in tune with the other members of my class. I guess the most exciting part about the class is, for me, just how different it is. I've never done anything like this. Uh, the idea that a you know, generally fairly low-key art history student could run around and try to master the dance of an entirely different culture from a uh, talented yet thankfully relaxed teacher is pretty interesting to me. You will have classically trained Tibetan professionals performing with American students and we think that's very much a part of what we're doing here at Emory in terms of Tibetan arts is bringing as much as possible the campus and these artists in dialogue and in touch with one another. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.